Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV. Just thought I'd show you a mod I've been working on today. Uh, it's going to help keep my truck batteries fully charged all the time by utilizing a solar panel that I keep on top of a toolbox. So many years ago I installed that solar panel and I can pull it off and use it as a ground panel. Uh, but I'm going to utilize it to charge my uh, truck batteries. So use the power of sun to keep them trickle charged. Since I've got a spare uh, solar controller, um, recently I got one from Bouge RV to test, so that gave me a spare, decided to put it inside the toolbox and wire it up to the panel, and then utilize this plug on the side. You can see here, that's actually a plug I wired in for a DC to DC charger that I use the truck alternator to charge my trailer batteries. So when it's not hooked to the trailer doing that, it's just sitting there so I can use the controller and the solar panel there and then hook it to that and I'll be able to keep my batteries topped up. I'm running a dash cam that has a parking mode so it's using some power when everything's off and I'm actually testing out a newer dam dash cam from the same company. So right now I'm running two dash cams that have parking mode so they're, they're eating up quite a bit of battery power. So if I'm not driving the truck around, it's going to kind of lower my battery voltage. There is protection modes in those dash cams, but I just thought this would be a neat idea since I had the, the pieces just kicking around and already had this wired in. Also, I could utilize the same controller to, to charge batteries and things like that. So let me show you in the toolbox where I've mounted it. There we go. So all I've taken is a 2x10 and mounted it straight onto that, screwed it in there, and then added some wires. So the wires go through the box and they come out at the bottom. This box I had previously cut because it didn't quite fit between my hitch legs there, so I had notched it out so that I have a pretty tight clearance between my front toolbox and the back, so I needed that little bit of space. So that conveniently leaves me an opening so here's the, the one coming from the solar panel, some MC4 connectors. So I can just plug into those and then the wire goes into the box and then the output goes out the other side. Just like so. And then I have the wire run under some mats here just to keep it out of the way and then I can plug it into the side. Now this port here come, goes to the front to the batteries and it's fused at the batteries with a 50 amp fuse but I thought that's a little bit high for that wiring in the charge controller so I actually made myself an extra fuse here, made a 10 amp fuse just for an extra layer of protection so I can plug that in and out pretty easily. I already had this uh, wire made up because I use it for a water pump here. And I also have some of these connectors on the trailer. I have one at the back bumper for same same thing to power a water pump just to fill my fresh water when I'm boondocking from a water bag. And also I have one to run my macerator pump when I pump sewage into the sewer tote. So I already had this cable all made up, so that was convenient. I just had to make up this little wiring arrangement, so I'll just show you what I used for that. These yellow doodads are what they call XT60 connectors. I use them a lot for charging RC batteries, remote control batteries for cars and planes and stuff. So I got a bag of those, male and female, and they're pretty easy to install. They, I just solder the wires into these two tabs. Then they have this little uh, thing that pops on, separates the wires. Nice little cap arrangement. So I can also use that as a pr protective cap. So when I'm, not, I'm done doing this, I can just unplug that like that, put on the protective kind of cap. Then I can just tuck that away under my mats. And then I made here this little extra fuse. Same deal, just like that. Easy peasy. 
And over here are your standard MC4 connectors. They just unplug and plug in. They've made it so this can lift up like that. Go back down and when I'm done I can just tuck the wire away underneath there or whatever. Another cool option I have with this system is I can utilize the panel in the controller to charge a battery. I have this uh, other cord that I had previously made up has alligator clamps on it and then that same uh, power pole connector so hook that up and then I can charge batteries. Uh, this panel puts out about you know maxes out around five amps or so but because that's MC4 connectors there I could actually hook up a ground array and be charging you know I carry a ground array in the truck it's foldable panels I could set it out and I could charge up some batteries charge someone's battery up or whatever just an extra interesting option I thought that would be cool so there you go that's my new way of keeping the the truck batteries all topped up even though it has some uh, stuff pulling on it overnight it'll, the next day it'll recharge them keep them always ready to go I set the charge controller, I went into its user-defined settings and set it pretty conservative because the last thing I want to do is overcharge my truck batteries, have them bubbling over or anything. So I set the parameters down pretty low as far as boost and that and, and float. Uh, when, I, when I hook up the truck and I'm ready to go, that'll be unplugged. And then if I need to, I'll do my regular DC to DC charger, plug that in and, and the DC to DC charger does my trailer batteries and then usually I take this cord and it plugs in to that solar panel and then I have a port on my hitch that this plugs into so that just adds an extra solar panel to the system that's charging my trailer. Anyway, till next time, Ray from Love Your RV. Thanks for watching. Cheers folks.